And I state that without arrogance. I don't mean to be arrogant, but I am a realist. And as a realist, it would be absolutely unprofessional for me to sit here and pretend I'm not an exceptional human being. Because I am. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I have never made a video about this particular fighter, but as I always say in boxing, you know, sometimes I'm early to the party when it comes to covering fighters. Sometimes I'm late to the party, but I always say if you do your job in the ring, I watch enough boxing, I watch enough undercards to where if you make your, if you make yourself a factor in boxing, eventually... You're gonna get you're, you're gonna get a true school sports video. You know, I'm only one man. I can only cover so much boxing. But I was I was just rewatching some boxing for, boxing for the weekend, and this and this fighter deserves a video, and that's uh none other than Shadesha Green. Yes, that Shadesha Green. Now, for those of you who don't know who Shadesha Green is, Shadesha Green is this 168 pound female boxer, and I know I know people who don't like women's boxing will say, oh, here we go. True school, BT, here he goes again with this women's boxing nonsense. We don't like women's boxing, and I, and I get it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, and I'm not, I'm not you know, to each, to each their own. But this girl right here, she can rumble. She can really, really rumble, and I almost feel bad that I, I never heard, I've never really like, to be honest with you, I never really heard of her much um, before this weekend, and, and, and I, 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 I kind of feel bad about the fact that I never heard about her, because if I did, and I knew who she was, she would have been had videos, but... Um, this girl can punch. I mean, a real big puncher. We know women's boxing. There's not a whole lot of big punchers. She can just straight out crack. She can thump. You know, um, 12 and 0, 11 knockouts. Uh, she's got about nine straight knockouts in a row. She really made a massive statement this weekend on the undercard uh, of Amanda Serrano versus Erica Cruz uh, by basically just starching and destroying a former unified champion. Ellen Sideros. Uh, she, you know, Sideros uh, lost her last fight to Franchon Cruz Azur, and she challenged the undisputed title. She fell a bit, bit short, but she's beating good, decent fighters like Alicia Napoleon, Femme K. Hermans. She's done her thing in boxing. So to stop her, she's never been stopped. She, 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 had only, she never lost until her last fight, and she had never been stopped until this fight. And, uh, you know, Shadesha Green hit her with like a big, big that overhand right was just killing her. You know, dropped her in the, thir in the third round, and then ultimately the, that that same punch ended it in the sixth. So um, I was trying to learn about Shadesha Green because I'm kind of like late to the party, but uh, you know, just going back, watching interviews and, and, and researching about her, she's like one. You know, she's she was a, a athlete before boxing. She played some college basketball at Old Dominion. Uh, apparently, uh, like four or five years ago. Uh, she was working with Kenny and Sean Porter because th there's this whole elaborate press conference at the old Sean Porter High Performance Center. So I might have to ask Sean Porter about, about that next time I talk to him. But uh, like, yeah, she's um, she's been with them, and 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 and, and there's been stories talked about her uh, dropping men and sparring, and I, I I believe it. I believe it, man. She's a nice person from the outside of the game. She, she's a nice person. It's well spoken. She seems very respectable. She doesn't talk down on anybody. But when she gets in that ring, she is a straight ice cold killer. She's ready to beat you like you stole something. She's ready to beat you like you said something bad about her mother. Like she fights that kind of intensity in the boxing ring. So she's at one sixty eight, and the fight that she that that that's been talked about for her for a long time has been maybe a fight between her and the quote Clarissa Shields. And um, I would love that fight because for me, truthfully, right, like. Clarissa Shields is beating like everybody there is to beat at 168, you know. I know that all us talking now about a Savannah Marsh rematch that would, you know, be probably good money at this point. But, you know, this girl right here, Shadesha Green, she beat this girl, Ellen uh, Sideros, who was a former unified champion, knocked her out in six rounds, dropped her twice. So she's going to probably fight Franchon Cruz to deserve next for the um, for the undisputed title, right? Franchon Cruz deserve is like one of the top fighters. You know, she, she, she's been there. She did it. She's proved herself time and time again as one of the top women in the sport. Um, this has been a fight that's been talked about for about, for, for about a year, maybe maybe even a couple years from what I've gathered. So my thing is, if Shadesha Green beats Franchon Cruz, which is not going to be any easy task because that girl can really fight. She's a top fighter for a reason and she's undisputed for a reason. But then if she beats her, then it sets up a... a, a what I think could could be like a massive fight of sorts because Shadesha Green's exciting. She she knocks motherfuckers out. Like she puts them out. She puts them 
Like she's not here to, you know, box and 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 and, 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 and uh, sweet science. No, no, no sweet science. No box. We, we come. We come here to rumble. We come here to thump. We come here to punch sixty holes through you. That's the way she fights. So because of that, you know, I just found out who she was. But I'm on board, and it's crazy too, right? Because my dad. I didn't watch. I, I I didn't even watch the call this week, right? I didn't. Wa I, I was at, I was at the NHL All Star game, so I missed the boxing when it was live this weekend. But um, my dad told me he he mentioned her briefly, but didn't really say too much. But then I knew that I had to check this girl out because my boy uh, Steve Gaffard, you know, the former uh, light heavyweight world title challenger, um, good friend of mine, Steve Gaffard. Uh, we we talk boxing on Instagram like all the time, like every day or every other day at least, and he sent me the thing. And he was like, hey, you got to check this girl out. She's about to fight, you know, for the, 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 the undisputed title. And I said, okay. So I checked it out. And I said, oh, my God. I said, oh, my God. Who is this Shadesha Green? Where has she? Why have I not heard of her? You know, and, I, and you guys know I'm like a boxing nerd. So the fact that I haven't heard of her is like a, I mean, it's a big deal to me. But anyway, but, um, yeah, this girl can fight. I would advise anybody watching this channel, anybody watching me, anybody that watches True School Sports to... Go check out Shadesha Green. This girl can crack. Probably pound for pound the hardest puncher in women's boxing right now, you know. Uh, we don't have a lot of big knockout artists in women's boxing, let alone someone who has nine knockouts in a row. I mean, for Christ's sakes, in men's boxing, just boxing in general, there's not a whole lot of fighters with nine knockouts in a row. I mean, what, you got what, Crawford might have about eight or nine. Better BF has is perfect. Um... And it's not a whole lot outside of that. So she might be, she might, she, you might forget women's boxing. Shadesha Green might just be pound for pound one of the hardest punches in boxing, point blank, period. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 this is my initial video on her. She's in the True School Sports rotation now. So I'll be looking for, I'll be looking for any at all news on Shadesha Green uh, from this day moving forward. So, uh, yeah, man, she, uh, congratulations to her on uh, a, a great statement win against uh, Sideros, the, uni the former Unified Champion. And, Best wishes to her moving forward. Hopefully she does well against our uh, French on Cruz and, and um, really make a statement in that fight because uh, she's the kind of person for me personally. Like just watching interviews and stuff. Like she like before she but before she talks and you see her in the ring, you think she's this angry, mean person. But then when you hear her talk, she's like the nicest person. Uh, that's why I guess she calls herself the sweet Terminator because she's a sweet girl, but she'll terminate your ass if you're not if you're not careful. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here. And make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.